One Coles County family member relies on the wisdom of a 90-year-old family member to pass along his knowledge to energetic teenagers. WCI3's egg reporter Stu Ellis shares their story in this morning's Harvest Heritage Report. Little coffee has come full circle growing up on a farm near Ashmore. I would get up in the morning and go out with dad and shuck a load of corn before I went to school. And then when I come home, we sure went out and shuck another one. At the age of 90, Bill is somewhat retired back to the farm after running the John Deere dealership in Ashmore as son Tony and grandson Tony Jr. run a highly organized family farm. Um, right now, we're probably, we farm a little over 3,500, um, mostly corn and beans. We, uh, we do bale some hay and we also have some livestock. Organization is pretty important, especially some of the springs we've had. We haven't had that big of a window to get it done, so the... We have one full-time, and then two of my boys help. Son Jake, a junior at Charleston High School, manages a pumpkin operation. We'll take them up to the house and we'll sell them. Okay. You're making money off of pumpkins? Yep. Okay. How did you do this year? Uh, good. We had our best year for selling. And why was it? Well, I think it's because people were tired of staying inside, so they just went out and bought some stuff. Brother Ben, an eighth grader, has a small beef herd to finance his college. Um, I have cows, and I feed them out, some of them, and then we'll uh, butcher them for the meat. And then for my cow cows, we'll uh, breed them, and then they'll have their calves. But why do they do what they do? We don't know that. <laughs> Could we say, well, why do we farm? <laughs> but it, it, it's, a, it's a great place to raise a family, you know, and it's family working together. I don't know very many jobs that you have where the whole family can be a part of it, you know, because he started it, I had it, and it's over to him now. And then after he's done with it, then the boys will take over. So it's just a just a family family type business, it, and it, it's it's a good life. That's our Harvest Heritage Report. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA3, your local news leader.